Yeah, and I think um, one one good topic is always how to get there, right? So how to get to that uh, perfect healthcare system, right? Uh, or a better uh, healthcare system. And and um, there are a lot of um, I guess challenges. Uh, perhaps human capital is one. Uh, we know uh, technology is another, but it's all about structure. So what your your view and uh, and your uh, you know background can tell us about where we are and what we need to be focusing on uh, considering the Brazilian uh, uh, actual uh, structure for, for healthcare? Mm -hmm. I think structure and its structure and infrastructure is key. What I learned from you is that you organize healthcare very much, I mean public and private, by regions. And what you might have done is because of the role of cities and town councils in that, you might end up with healthcare systems that are just too small to sustain. So first of all, you need to be looking at the right scale. And what we tend to find, and this is, well, this is becoming a sort of global guideline, healthcare systems, if you want to, be, to build a good performing healthcare system, Build a healthcare system, you know, the provision of healthcare around 500,000, between 500,000 and 1 million people. Take that as your unit and start designing there what you need to, what, what you need. So change your system so that you don't have very big entities and very small entities. Beef it up into sizable, manageable units. That's one. Then I think the second aspect that is important is leadership. It's leadership within these regions, by the CEOs of the providers, by the payers. It's leadership in sitting together and they need to do it together. How do we want, what do we want our future healthcare system to, to look like? And what I always found in all the transformational journey that I've been through is that redesigning care pathways is a very strong instrument in making that transformation. Because you take, for example, seven key care pathways together with professionals, so that way you commit them as well. You link them in and you say, what will it look like in the future? And then when you've done that, you then look at your system and you think, well, if that's how care needs to be delivered, what do we need in terms of infrastructure? What do we need in terms of coordination? And very important two elements, I would think, what do we need in terms of workforce? And I think a new element, and we've started talking about this in th three, four years, what technology is there to help us in delivering this care? Because that's the great news about technology. It's more and more we're capable of designing care in an alternative way. So it's the right size. It's having in that right size what you need there. It's bold leadership. It's really starting to work on care path space and the way in which you deliver. So divine your service delivery model, getting your professionals in to get them involved and then start working from there on what the infrastructure is. What are incentive systems that help the change rather than hinder the change? And then start thinking about what is the workforce that I need and what is the technology? How can I use technology to make my service delivery model even better? Yeah. Daniel, I don't know your, your view and opinion, but um, it makes completely sense, I guess. One, one thing that we, uh, uh, that I think we don't have at this time is a long-term plan. Uh, looking from, from the private and the, the, the public sector to address those, those uh, things. Because a three, four year plan is not a long plan and we cannot achieve, even start, um, getting to those topics without a really long vision about where we want, what we want to have in a long term for our healthcare. Yeah. I don't know. We are no, that. What concerns me in that sense, what concerns me is how can you apply technology if you don't have a long term vision, right? If you, if you think about technology in a short term, you always use it as a just as a tool, as not part of something bigger or part of your strategy. So that what concerns me the most about uh, the lack of a long term. Uh, view about healthcare, especially healthcare, it requires uh, long-term commitment. Mm 